are you today? I hope you're all doing great. It's holiday, so I'm here to buy a few things in this small Greenbelt Makati. First, I'm gonna go grab something to eat before shopping. I'm so hungry. materials the SLGs so cute And I love these packet bags, they're gorgeous. It's my first time to buy this from Joe Malone. I love the ribbon, it's so cute. It's really nice they gave me perfume samples. These are great for small bags, for travel, as well as giveaways. Out of the four creams I tried in the store, this one stood out to me because of its delightful scent. I love how light it is and how easily my skin absorbs its formula. I love this toner a lot and I've been using it for as long as I can remember. I use all La Mer skincare products on my face day and night and it's never complete without this revitalizing toner. It balances the complexion, leaving it purified and revealing a healthy glow. It's in the new packaging or bottle so I cannot argue with my essay. <laughs> it wasn't the toner I was gonna get. She said, it's the same product and I said, really? The one I'm using looks different. So trying to show her the color and she said, oh no, it's just the packaging. <laughs> it's a new packaging. So, okay. This is cute and sexy. It's a floral print type front halter top. It's nice for the summer when going to the beach or at home. It's light and really cool. I can leave both ends hanging as it is or tie it like so for a stylish look. It goes really well with shorts, denim, pants, or long skirts. Wear a sandals, beach bag, hat, and sunglasses and you're good to go. It's just really, really girly. What do you think, guys?
I also found this Essence solid color denim cargo skirt with front slit in the size medium. It's in white and perfect for the summer. The high slit makes it cool and sexy. I really do love white. I do think cargo style is casual and very comfortable, especially when paired with sneakers. I love white sneakers. It's for an effortlessly cool vibe. For a more casual summery look, sandals are a great option. Yes, I finally bought my first Marc Jacobs bag. Marc Jacobs sits in the affordable luxury bracket in comparison to the likes of Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Gucci, and so on. If you're looking for your first designer handbag and starting to build your own collection, I highly recommend this piece for you. This one has it all. Cool book tote vibe, practicality of one compartment, tap handle, and crossbody strap. I also love that the strap is adjustable and removable. It's a great day-to-day -day bag for office, weekend, or travel. The tote bag by Marc Jacobs can do no wrong. The quality is good, full leather, and most importantly, it won't break your bank. I wish I should have bought this earlier, but you know, it's still on trend and has been around since 2019, and it's showing no signs of stopping. Still popular because of the price point, quality, and craftsmanship. Its popularity can probably attest to the boom of interest Dior Book Tote received when it was introduced in 2018. Everyone completely wanted it, including me. <laughs> but they say only the fashion elite could afford it. Anyway, the Marc Jacobs tote bag is a brilliant designer alternative at a fraction of the cost. It comes in different sizes and materials including canvas, felt, faux, shearling, leather, so on. It's all up to you to choose depending on your lifestyle. They have the large, medium, mini, and micro, and mine is the micro size or the crossbody tote bag. The height is 15 cm, width is 18 cm, and depth is 10 cm. I picked this size because I love small bags as I don't carry as much as I used to. But this micro size is surprisingly roomy and can fit basic essentials more compared with my other bags similar to this size. I was also debating between two beautiful colors, the pink, which is yummy, and this cotton silver. But I ended up buying the cotton silver because all colors really match well with white. The only downside is color transfer, of course, but I'm aware of that. I just have to be a bit careful when wearing the bag. And as far as the material is concerned, the leather version for me is the clear winner as long as you take care of it. But seriously, buy it. It will almost be the only bag you'll need in life. And because the tote bag is prone to dirt and stains, I got an Apple brand leather care kit. The pouch contains a bottle of leather cleaner, a conditioner, and a cleaning cloth. This can be used on high-end bags. They will not darken nor harm your leather. Use the cleaner first to clean the dirt, then use a good amount of the conditioner to condition the bag. 
all by using this cloth right here. This is made in the United States and I've tried this already in the past. It can be used on both new and old bags. It dries quickly. That wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching this shopping vlog mini haul. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!